Hey guys, so we are back with another video and this time we have got a brand new announcement GPT-4 O Mini is here and you know it's quite effective right because we have been thinking that what next is going to be by uh, OpenAI and we were expecting maybe GPT-5 or some version of GPT-4 let's say 4.5 or something but they came up with GPT-4 O and I think you guys already know about this current leaderboard we are going to look at it uh, like, like for post you know discussing about in detail about the model GPT-40 currently is the most uh, powerful model in the market right and even if you look at the arena the that that is this LMS is chatbot arena where people vote and everything is dependent on the community participation so GPT-40 is currently the most powerful model according to the community right now if you go down there they are saying GPT-40 mini are most cost effective small model so they are saying it will significantly expand the range of applications built within AI by making intelligence must uh, much affordable. Now, if you guys are thinking how much it is cost, it is 15 cents per million input tokens and 60 cents per million output tokens. That's around 75 cents. Let's uh, considering both 1 million tokens and 1 million output tokens. Now, you know, that's more affordable than previous models and 60% more cheaper than GPT 3.5 turbo. So, I think we have reached a point where GPT 3.5 is going to retire really soon. Both GPT 3.5 and GPT 3.5 Turbo both are going to retire very very soon. I don't think anyone is going to use them. Now if you look at this leaderboard right. Uh, this was uh, released by the leaderboard uh, uh, official account. They are saying that GPT 4 Mini's early version upcoming GPT 4 Mini was just in arena in past week. With over 6k user vote we are excited to share its early score reaching the performance of GPT 4 Turbo. Guys see here. It's on the fourth position. It's just below GPT-4 Turbo. Now the point is, why is anybody going to use GPT-3.5? Why is anybody going to use Cloud3 Opus or uh, Gemini Flash, Gemma2 or uh, let's say any GPT-3.5 models itself, right? The only models better than this is Gemini 1.0 and Cloud3.5 Sonnet and GPT-4.0. These are the only three models which are above it. And if you see, compare the price difference, if you compare it, it's far 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 better because let's say overall if there is a 3 or 2 percent accuracy increase in cloud 3.5 sonnet or let's say gemini 1.4 most of the people won't you know pay attention to that 2 3 percent accuracy most people will say okay if my work is being done decent by this model it's completely fine right so that's the case now if you go here they are saying that the model has a context window of 128k tokens supports up to 16k tokens per request and has knowledge up to October 2023. So, thanks to the improved tokenizer shared with GPT 340, it can handle non English text even uh, more if with even more effective cost. So, they have, I think, included everything right a small model with superior textual intelligence and also multi model reasoning. So, what is left? Why is anyone interested in this GPT 3.5 Turbo, right? Uh, on academic benchmarks it's better it's supposed same range as gpt 40 it has a uh, you know uh, same function calling and everything and it has been evaluated across multiple benchmarks now if you see here gpt 40 mini uh, is here is with the orange and 40 is uh, pink if you see in most of the task 40 is at the top right no one is even close but if you see in most of the cases the second is always always gpt 40 mini in mmlu it's there in GPQA, it's there. In DROP, it's there. It's the second position. In I think MGSM, it's there. Now in math, it's far better than the other models. Gemini Flash, Cloud Haiku, and GPT uh, 3.5 Turbo. It's far better. Even though when they were comparing here, we were expecting them to also include these top three models, but it's completely fine. I think every company every company has the point right where they want to show off their model. Only in this la last one, that is Math Vista. It's performing decent, but yeah, Gemini Flash is performing good here. So that's the case. So they are saying we work with a handful of trusted partners to better understand use cases and limitations of GPT-4 Mini. They partnered with Ramp and Superhuman. Superhuman, I think you guys know, it's a company that was uh, you know famous for the most advanced AI powered box inbox. You know they are working on a lot of new things, and I think their clients are awesome. So uh, it's highly recommended for you guys to go and you know read about the work that they do they're these awesome guys working on uh, ai and safety measures and everything now uh, 
to significantly better the for tasks such as extracting structured data for received files or generating high quality email responses when provided with thread history so yeah they partnered with superhuman and i think one more company which is uh, ramp yeah and worked on these specific tasks and they are able to achieve good accuracy it it is you know really good that they are making models accessible for everyone so now this is built in safety measures which i won't be reading and availability and pricing they are saying the same within 75 cents you are getting everything <laughs> so this is roughly equivalent to 2500 pages in a standard book just imagine you are getting 2500 pages dude in 15 cents per 1 million tokens so, so sorry 60 cents you are getting this much output so it's really good and they are saying in chat gpt free plus and team users will be able to get access to gpt 4 o mino mini starting today so bye bye chat gpt 3.5 and uh, hi gpt 4 o mini that's what we can say the next they are saying over past year we have witnessed a remarkable for example uh, cosper token is has dropped by 99% since text devinci is a less capable model introduced in 2022 so it's it's really good right we are able to afford ai in a much much better way so yeah dude guys that was it for this video i will link all the things that i mentioned in the description as usual you guys can go and tell me about your thoughts on this gpt4 omino mini thank you and have a nice day